Hi, my name is Dina Nayeri and I chose uh, T for truth for my abecedaire. Um, I was thinking maybe I should have chosen B for believe because um, much of what I'm studying this year and what I'm interested in is who gets believed, who doesn't get believed, and who decides what's true, who decides what's a lie. When I was writing fiction or when I was studying fiction, uh, one of the things that we learned is that, you know, truth as we all know, is subjective, but one of the great things about good fiction is that it captures a particular person's truth while actually making it kind of a, apparent all that they're missing or all that they're not seeing and what the other people in a story might view as, as the more true thing. So for me, how this applies to the real world is fascinating because when you look at one of my favorite subjects or the ones, one of the subjects that I've been most recently obsessed with, um, when you look at refugees and uh, what happens to them when they try to tell their story as they cross borders and enter new countries. Um, you know, it's interesting to see how much their culture and ways of st storytelling affect what truth they choose to tell and how those truths are perceived and how um, maybe they're seen as dishonest by people that are used to hearing stories from a dif different cultural perspective. Because after all, all stories are cultural. Um, storytelling is cultural. So, um, you know, then you have all of these asylum seekers who come in telling the, the truest, most visceral story of their life, the most um, important story of their life, the thing that, you know, kind of pivoted everything for them. Um, and uh, for one reason or another, that story falls flat, seems dishonest and, and not so truthful to the person listening. I am looking at all kinds of different contexts where that is true. You know, that um, when how do we listen to stories um, when we're listening to a story at, at a dinner? How do we listen to a story when we're, say, um, listening to someone talk about a business that we might invest in? How do we listen to a story when, you know, it's someone that we love? Um, how do we listen to a story when we're negotiating? How do we listen to a story if we are gatekeepers to country? So all of these different situations change the way that we see truth and the way we um, examine potential lies, how on the lookout we are. Um, and of course that in turn affects people's lives and futures.